It's usual to build in a delay for the arrival of the Padre. The CNO's role is to deliver the bad news, and it's human nature that the person receiving the news will always associate, and even partly blame, the CNO for being part of their loved one's death. Mrs Lewis, I'm very sorry for your loss. Is there anyone you'd like us to call? Um, I'll call my sister. She only lives a few miles away. Lori. Yeah, it's me. Once a casualty notifying team are sure that the bereaved is being looked after by family and friends, the CNO's job is done. Mrs. Lewis? Flight Lieutenant Simon Wallace. We spoke on the telephone earlier? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, come in. Thank you. Can I just say how very sorry I was to hear about what happened to Paul? Did you know him? Not particularly well, but I knew how popular he was around the station. Yeah. Now, as I said on my telephone call earlier, I've been appointed as your visiting officer, which means that I'm here to give you a hand with anything you might need some help with. Sorry, sit down, please. Thank you. I'll be bringing you an information pack next time from the Joint Casualty and Compassionate Centre. Mrs Lewis, like anyone else in this situation, will have numerous questions relating to the circumstances of the death itself. One other thing, Mrs Lewis. The MOD press department has asked if there's a particular photograph of Paul that you would like them to use. The media will just use anything they can get their hands on, so maybe if there's something that you particularly like. The widow may ask many questions, including what will happen with the return of personal effects. They may also wish to visit the scene of the incident. This may not always be possible.